we are at Duxbury Beach, which is a barrier beach on the south shore of Massachusetts. The beach extends from the mainland of Marshfield and Duxbury down south to Gurnet and Saquish, which are in Plymouth. In the early 1900s, it was set to be divided up into a couple hundred housing lots. A group of private citizens kind of pooled their resources and bought the Duxbury Beach as we know it. So today, the nonprofit Duxbury Beach Reservation kind of upholds that mission um, and owns and maintains these four and a half miles of the barrier beach. Duxbury Beach Reservation is a beautiful place for people and wildlife to enjoy. However, like many similar places along our Massachusetts coast, DBR has changed through time and experiences challenges that come along with sea level rise and climate change. We have been seeing just a lot of continual erosion on the on the bay side as well as the ocean side this past winter. So we're definitely concentrating on both sides of the barrier beach, um, especially on those areas of Bayside that don't have, you know, salt marsh kind of helping buffer some of that flooding and storm surge. Um, in those areas, there is a lot of, a lot of inundation, a lot of flooding onto the road um, that does cause erosion. The trustees and directors of Duxbury Beach Reservation have explored a lot of different avenues, things like specifically for Bayside, you know, moving the roadway towards the east, um, kind of retreating away from the Bayside a bit. Uh, they've explored stone revetment. Both of those, those options obviously have regulatory concerns. They're also not in line um, with DBR's mission uh, and kind of nature-based approach to management. There's a lot of existing kind of cobble beach um, and berms on Bayside naturally on Duxbury Beach. So those efforts to install cobble berms or mixed sediment berms on Bayside are a little less obvious for folks that are coming out. They're on a smaller scale. At Duxbury Beach Reservation, cobble berms have been installed to mimic the natural environment and enhance coastal resilience. Coastal engineers like Kirk Bosma at Woods Hole Group work on nature-based approaches at sites like Duxbury Beach Reservation. This road here was a feeling pressure from erosional processes. They're constantly battling loss of the road. This cobble berm that you're seeing here was installed in 2006. It was recently re-nourished in, in 2022, which gives you about a 16 to 17 years life of performance out of this system. And as you can see from the natural beach around, it matches very well with what you would naturally see at this location. So it blends right in with the natural landscape. So success is exactly what you're seeing here for Duxbury Beach. Our goal is to try to keep on top of it and to take advantage when there are sources of sediment or sources of funding uh, to try to proactively look at the areas of highest concern that either you know haven't been nourished recently or are eroding more quickly and try to fill those in as best we can um, by rebuilding the dunes and that's why over the last couple of years we've worked really hard with Woods Hole Group um, through a series of coastal zone management grants uh, to look kind of large scale at the beach and put in these comprehensive and longer term designs and permits. Cobble berms are an example of how special places like Duxbury Beach Reservation can lean into nature-based approaches to adapt to climate change and sea level rise preserving these unique environments for people and wildlife.